this pharaonic looking thing here is not the Ark of the Covenant because the Greek originated word Ark refers to what's inside and not this pharaonic box itself. The two winged girlies you see here on the box spreading their wings in the typically protective way of Ma'at, the goddess of justice. Therefore the word Ma'at, Ma'at, magistrate. Magistrate, therefore the law and its ten commandments to abide by. If not, Ma'at, you get it mate, Ma'at. But most importantly, she was the goddess of order, order and obedience to our masters, the pharaohs. Order in the empire, so the masters could tend their businesses without losing too much energy on those slaves, totally unworthy of too much attention anyway. Here you can see the 42 principles or 42 ideals of Ma'at written 2000 years before Moses in the Bible, including the Ten Commandments too. These were the 42 articles of Pharaoh's law to keep the slaves quiet, work and shut up, just as today and still the same ones ruling. You can see number three, I have not stolen. Number eight, I have not spoken lies. Number 32, I have not done, neither harm not ill etc. All Ten Commandments are there, where the Ten Commandments are in fact a lousy copy of Pharaoh's laws of Ma'at. The Ark of the Covenant is not from God, but it was from Pharaoh to farm his Jewish slaves. By Moses the Pharaoh handing out the Ten Rules to abide by, all in favour of the elite and ruling class who kill us by the millions but we their slaves are not allowed to retaliate rule number six thou shalt not kill they are pharaonic masters of the aristocracy and their masons rape and sacrifice our children and they just laugh about rule number seven no adultery our masters steal all from us but the invisible all-seeing eye in the sky will see it all when some Robin Hood would get some of it back. Rule number eight, thou shalt not steal. The Nazi Swiss and the authorities massively lie things together in a highly organized way to incriminate immigrants so the Swiss can bury the immigrants under massive amounts of prison years. Rule number nine, Thou shalt not bear false witness on your neighbour, a eh, Swiss A. Eh? So all these ten pharaonic rules called Moses' commandments and covenant with God, the all-seeing eye, are laughed about by our masters and brushed away, being just a clever means to farm the slave race called humanity. So there's no reason at all to lift yourself up in some hysterical religious ecstasy hearing the word Ark of the Covenant in some Steven Spielberg series for the slaves and by the initiated. The Jews too should stop this arrogance claiming the Ark as their heritage, which it isn't and never was either. But I suppose that many good Zionists have woken up to the fact that Moses took the Erev Rav, Pharaoh's wizards, with him, who became the rabbis, forcing Pharaoh's ten laws of rulership upon the people, circumcising the slaves as Pharaoh only circumcised their slaves and never themselves for reasons explained in my older film here. And look at how they, how they, they have, the homos have to hold their hands here, you know. It's not, it's not out of free will, you know, they're doing it. You can see that here. So that's why, because, you know, people didn't want this, yeah. So they started doing it like with a baby, yeah. A baby can't defend himself, right? Right? 
And you know, if you believe in God's creation, you don't you do not mutilate it, eh? Like the homos do here. That that's why we all got all these homos nowadays. It's all from Pharaoh and the aristocracy. You can see eh. Pharaoh's Erev Rav and their rabbis of the Judenrat, Jewish Council, deliberately led the Jews into the concentration camps by means of deception, saying that Hitler was a civilized man who would never hurt a Jewish child, and that some god would protect them anyway. And here you can see how on June 26th, 1942, these Jews from Pharaoh's Erev Rav, working for and with the Nazis, even hang some Polish resistance fighters. This is the enemy within and their base Switzerland. Here you can see the very moment on the hill with Pharaoh Moses, when Pharaoh said, This is my chosen people who will carry my ten rules of enslavement among all peoples globally through the dias diaspora. That's why it says in the holy books that on that very occasion Pharaoh and his army of Erev Rav disappeared in the sea, meaning that the Pharisees or Pharaoh's aristocracy disappeared in the sea of peoples, the global invisible enemy within and their Freemason lodges full of Pharaonic symbology. Until Pharaoh's Roman legions, spreading the word and their ten rules of enslavement, stumbled upon the Germanic tribes and got a thorough spanking. And their political elite of Pharaoh are literally begging for some good old Germanic spanking again today. In the Bible, they have another word for the Erev Rav the Pharisees, and the Pharisees means the descendants of Pharaoh and his nobility, who sentenced Jesus to die on the cross, executed by the Romans. No Jew is guilty of killing Jesus. Now let's analyze the word, the word Ark of the Covenant. The word covenant refers to the alliance, or rather the obedience to Pharaoh. Pharaoh God on earth. The word Ark comes from the Greek Archain, meaning to rule, as in the word monarch for a king or Pharaoh. Monos means alone, and Archain to rule as a king Pharaoh in a feudal system of the Red House Old World's Order vertical rule. Therefore, also Noah's Ark, which is not a boat but a law as in the Ark of the Covenant. Or do you think the Covenant was a real bloody boat? There never was a bloody boat either. It's just a reference to the Horus Matrix concerning the selection of useful slaves for Pharaoh, or as some call him, Anunnaki, and to have all the bad slaves killed, as we are a farmed race. They're just breathing us and breathing us out as they did with those annoying, dangerous Germanic tribes in order to replace them, starting right in 1945 after the big dying. Like killing the dolphins, like on, like on Auschwitz, on the beaches of France, full of sacrificed dolphins escaping the 5G noise of the water, climbing on a beach out of the noisy water. Thus, coming back to the boat, the ark and the water again, and Noah's ark sort of meaning that we're all in the same boat, smartly pushed down by Pharaoh's ten rules, by the so-called invisible realm of the all-seeing eye. The word monarch is also French, the language of the aristocracy par excellence, mon arc, meaning my law, in those days enforced by the bow. In French, arc, same word. Or like Jean d'Arc, Joan of Arc, meaning Joan of the Law. And she was not a saint either. 
you know, her first general was a, um, a Gilles de Ré. He was a pedophile and a, a Satanist serial killer. And God, there was no God that, say, that said, like, uh, Joan, you know, there's something wrong. She's not a saint. It's all the same story. Here it says God's warrior. It's all the same thing, like with Moses, Ark of the Covenant, Joan of Ark, Noah's Ark, uh, Monarch, Macron. It's all the same bloody pharaonic lies with an invisible powers, you know, saving us. And come on. That's also why MKUltra brainwashing method, also called Monarch, Monarch, as in MK for shoving the 10 laws of Pharaoh up your brain. Monarch, Monarch. MKUltra Monarch is just a modern version of the same old religious hocus pocus brainwash as Ark of the Covenant, Noah's Ark, Joan of Arc, Mont Arc, Anagram Pro, Macron. How do I know all this? Or well, maybe I'll tell you one day. And here again, Arc, here it says, Les enfants arc-en-ciel, meaning the rainbow children, in English, of the indigo generation, because Arc, the law. Arc-en-ciel, a rainbow rounded as a bow same word arc as in a dome being referred to in the umbrella corporation for protection with the red templars cross from the hollywood film resident evil and an umbrella looks like a dome and for protection doesn't it it's just a chess game to them and we are the pawns the slaves and this pawn here, it's the queen actually, that's Isis, yeah, with a Templar's V here. It stands, normally it stands on a checkerboard configuration, as in a Freemason Lodge. And the Freemasons, they come out of these here, the Templars. And that's why this piece here of the chess game, while it's standing on a Templar's cross, with the Templar's V. In just a Hollywood film, eh, you might think, right? Some people even believe that the Ark of the Covenant is hidden here. Hey, Swissy. Now you see, it looks like a Swiss cross, eh? Evil pharaohs with their unilateral ten laws for farming their slaves are destroying the entire earth right now. So, if there would be a genuine God left in this hell, he would say, retaliate now, immediately, and save what's left. No bloody creator would order his only hope to turn the other cheek and see the entire creation go to hell as right now. And remember that the historical Jesus was from the royal pharaonic aristocratic house of King David, which the Bible says so. This was Pharaoh's only son of Pharaoh God on earth who died for his love for man. He loved the slaves and tried to help them against the Pharisees, descendants of Pharaoh, and he was standing in the way of his father, Pharaoh's plans to farm the slaves and have them fight each other in numerous wars. So Pharaoh, the father, had him die for his love of man, just as other Pharisees like Lady Di or John F. Kennedy. So all slaves and all tribes unite now and save what's left now. This is what Jesus wanted. All people unite and then retaliate altogether for the love of saving this creation. 